today HKMyTravel.com takes you to Shenzhen. We are going to explore a Chinese ancient style town where you can find many Asian style buildings. After, we will change style and check out an European style town nearby. And we will end this video with a classical Taoist temple. So let's get ready and enjoy this spectacular journey together. To get there, you could take the Sunshen Metro, Line 5 to Changlong Station, get out from Exit A, walk straight for about 20 to 25 minutes, and you are there. So today we are in Sunshen. I'm taking you to a very special place. It's called Wembo Palace. The Wembo Palace consists of many buildings with building style similar to the ancient China dynasty. So you will feel that you will be in an ancient Chinese town there, full of ancient Chinese styles and atmosphere. It should be fun to visit. So let's go visit together. I have arrived at the entrance of the Wembo Palace. You can see that the tourists behind me. It is a huge structure. So once you are inside, you already feel that you are in an ancient town of China. Look at the building style. To enter the main complex, you have to go through a palace-like shopping mall. Not only the antique and the uh, art shop here, they also have those uh, AI robots which is uh, pretty amazing in a place like this. Once you are out of the shopping mall, the beautiful place is ahead. The place does look like an ancient Chinese town or a place you see from a traditional Chinese TV show. They have antique and souvenir shops here with many special items.
Even on the floor, you could see artistic crafting. This is the museum here. Look at the design of it. Let's go in and check it out. So you could see the Chinese writing is like art. For the same character, you could use different style to write a Chinese character. It's something that you need to practice for a long time to do it. And my Chinese writing is terrible. Uh, of course, I cannot perform such art. Behind me is the two characters, meaning that wrong and forgiveness. So here it says if you forgive and let go of the things you don't like, the whole world will be run. It means that the whole world will be peaceful and relaxed. So that's uh, some kind of philosophy within the writing there. The character is Sun in Cantonese. It means you go with the flow so you don't have to be angry. This one is a harmony. You know, be nice to people, be nice to others. This one is full forgiveness. Uh, of course, you need to forgive your enemy, something, someone bad to you, so then you will feel much better. This one is beauty. I think it means the internal of yourself, not the outside, but of course, uh, Outside is also important, but inside is uh, the most important one. There's a lot of philosophy behind those uh, characters. They also have modern art here. Special shops and cafe here. They even have the residential building in a very special style. We blend into the whole entire town here. So I'm outside the hotel here. It's got a huge drop outside the hotel. They said that it is from the space, drop it into the earth. <laughs> I don't know if this side of the rock drop it to the earth, maybe <laughs> the whole city will destroy. Anyway, it's fun to see this. I already make a new friends here. <laughs> Looks 
like I make lots of friends here. <laughs> that looks like a Chinese herb shop. So in an ancient town here, they have a, one of my favorite restaurants. Let's go in and have a look. <laughs> Very tasty. Now let's go and explore the European style town up on the hill. You need to get out of this entrance and turn right. Keep walking up and you will be there. On top of the hill, they have a village with buildings. Looks like those are buildings in Holland. Look at the beautiful statue here and the reservoir. Just met some friendly local here. He advised me to keep going because there's a Taoist temple on top of the hill. I'm right next to the windmill here. It's very beautiful. After you cross the bridge, you will see the windmill and then you could go back to the way you came from and check out the European town there. For those of you who come from Europe and watching my video, you might not feel interested in, on this uh, village. But for others like uh, from Hong Kong stuff, they will be very interesting in such a place because the building is very different from this side of the world. Although it's really beautiful here, but there's not many people and the shops generally has nothing in there. Let's take a walk in this town and enjoy the view. There are different types of shops here. Standard gesture. I don't know if it's just a church or not. It's got a, a star sign on top. I wonder if the water goes up, will it cover the building, part of the building? I'm in an abundant city. <laughs> In front of me, I could see some very luxury residential areas.
so you can see all the luxury houses here. So it's uh, 4 p.m. something, and there's a nice guy advised me to come up to the hill. There's a really nice temple there. I hope that uh, I could reach there before night time. You know, I don't want to stay in a temple at night because uh, normally <laughs> at night in a temple is not for us. <laughs> it's for some other entity. <laughs> Very nice, I could see the temple ahead, so I should reach the temple before night time. From the direct translation of the temple in Chinese to English, it is called the Seven Saint, Seven Saint Temple. Sorry, that was, I was so tired to, to walk up the hill. <laughs> anyway. They also have a chicken family here Just like the one in the Evergreen Resort If you follow my video Look, so peaceful It's such a shame, it's not allowed to film in there so, uh, we could just take a look outside. Anyway, it's a fun trip today. Hope you enjoyed the video. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, HK My Travel, or visit our website, hkmytravel.com. Thank you and see you next time.